Hello all. So now we are moving to another problem. This is a problem on pentagonal prism. Okay. So in the previous uh, videos, we have seen that uh, prisms are kept or solids are kept at a distance from the picture plane. Right. Suppose this is an object. Uh, see you can see the image of that object now. When the picture plane is away from the object, it will be decreasing. Similarly, whenever the picture plane is approaching the object, the image will be, the size of the image will be increasing. So, the image of the object of the picture plane will be decreasing as the distance of the object from the picture plane is increasing. So, if this is the picture plane and if this is approaching the object, you can see that the size of the image is also increasing. And if any portion of the object is touching the picture plane, the perspective will be same as that of the object at that point. So, whenever an object is touching the picture plane, the perspective will be same as the front view of the object. Okay. So, now we can read the question. Draw the perspective view of a pentagonal prism. 20 cm side, 35 cm long, lying on one of its rectangular faces on the ground plane. One of its pentagonal faces touches the picture plane and the station point is 52 mm in front of the picture plane, 25 cm above the ground plane and lies in the center plane which is 70 cm to the left of the center of the prism. Draw the perspective. This is. So, it is given that the, the pentagonal prism is resting on the ground on one of its rectangular faces. Right. So, for a pentagonal prism lying on the ground on one of its rectangular faces, if this is the pentagon, one of its base edge should be on the ground. Then only it can be placed like this. If this is the pentagon, this edge should be parallel to the ground or on the ground. Then only it can be placed on the ground. So, in the front view, you can see the pentagon on the ground line. Okay. This is your ground line. The pentagon can be drawn like this. Of size 20. So, in the front view we can name it as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash and E dash and O dash. Similarly, F dash, G dash, H dash, I dash, J dash and O2 dash. So, the front view has been completed. Now, we have to obtain the position of the picture plane. In the previous question, we have seen that the distance between the ground plane and the picture plane should be greater than the sum of the position of the station points. So, station, so it is given that the station point is 52 mm in, in front of and 25 mm above the ground plane. So, 52 plus 25 means 77. So, at a distance of 80 on, we can draw the picture plane. Now, now, it is given that the pentagon one of the one uh, base of the pentagon or one base of, one base of the pentagon is touching the picture and a uh, pentagonal person is having a length of 30 so since it is touching from this point we can draw the pentagon pentagon person so the top view of the pentagon As you are observing from here, these two edges will be visible and this is away from the observer, so that will be invisible. Now, see A, B, C, D, the front is A, B, C, D, so this will be A, B, C, D, so this is A, B, C, D, E and O1, here it will be F, G, H, I, J, O2, okay. So, you have taken this face as A, B, C, D. So, in the top view, that will become 
and the and EFGS will be on the top. Sorry, FGS will be on the top. So the front view and the top view has been completed. Now look at the central plane. It is given that the, the central plane is 70 mm to axis left. So at a distance of 70 mm to axis left, draw the central plane. So this distance will be 70. This distance will be 70. Now look at the station station point. It is given that station point is 25 above. So it will be somewhere here 25 above and uh, 52 in front of. So this will be and this will be SP dash. This distance will be 25 and this distance will be 52. What will be the next step? Connect SP with D, C, E, O, D, A. But Connection of SP with uh, this value, uh, these points is not needed because since this face is touching the picture plane, the corresponding face in the front view that is A, B, C, D will be a part of the picture plane. Why? Because this is touching the picture plane. Since it is touching the picture plane, since that face is touching the picture plane, its the front view will be the respective projection of that face. So, what we need is we only need a the perspective view of F, G, H, I, J. So, for that, we need only to correct SP with I. So, this will be I1. H. So, this will be H1. J and O2. So, this will be J1 and O2 1. This will be F1. And somewhere here we will get a G1. So I1, H1, J1, O2, 1, F1, and G1. So that is good. Similarly, connect the SP dash with the J dash, I dash, X dash. G dash and F dash. Okay. Now draw a perpendicular from I1. So this will be our I. Draw a perpendicular from H. H1. So this will be our capital H. Draw a perpendicular from J. So this will be our capital J. Draw a perpendicular from F. Here it will be F from G. So this will be G and from O2. So this will be O2. Now connect IJ, JF, FG, GH and HI with a 2 h pencil, lighter pencil. Now we can see that this will be the border, 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 border, connect this, connect this and connect this. This also will be visible because this and this are visible at this. Now this will be invisible, this will be invisible and this will be invisible. So, this this. This is axis. So, axis should be. This is 20 is given, and this height is 35. That is also given in the. Way. Okay. So. The difference from the previous question is since 
the face a b c d e of the pentagon is touching the picture plane the perspective view of the a b c d e will be the same as its front view so here the perspective view is not needed to draw for a b c d e because this itself will be the perspective view. we only need to obtain the perspective view of the other face let's see we can see sp to only we said this there is no connection with the okay so i think all of you have understood this question.